Okay, we've got a Ford Focus estate in today. Um, it's a 2009 plate, I believe. Um, so we're just going to show you what we found so far. Um, so concentrating on the front screen, uh, at this top point where the arrow is, what we're going to do is we're going to put some compressed air down on the inside of the screen. Um, but first of all, I don't know if you can see that the screen actually looks like it's lifted up there. So it doesn't look like it's sitting properly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just spray some of our, our foam on there. And then what I'm going to do, right, I'm just going to put some air up on the inside of the screen. Okay, so we can see that the front screen on the right hand side is letting air through. So that would be the leak there. And then what that then does is it runs down the screen down the bulkhead and if we just lift this up here right, okay so this is damp here it's not wet as such but it is damp uh, we've got dampness in the front the front footwell um, if I now come to the passenger rear and I just obviously I've got dry hand here if I just put my hand down past the carpet and give it a squeeze Okay, so we can see that it's soaking wet on the back there. It seems to be dry on the driver's front and the driver's rear. Um, coming around to the back, um, we have the rear air vents, which are quite hard to see, um, but I've had my twisty camera up there and it does look like they are leaking into the box sections. Um, this is the foam what goes into the little cubby hole. Um, if I just squeeze the bottom of that foam there, so we can see how wet that is. So that's a good sign that air vent's leaking behind the rear bumper. Um, coming up onto the back by the tailgate and um, we can see that the anchor points are starting to crack uh, They're not letting in any water at the moment But after a, a little bit of time it will obviously get worse and it will start to let water in and Up on the anchor points here. You can just see That it's starting to crack on this point here uh, The only thing is to get these resealed we will have to lift the roof bars up to reseal them um, and it's the same on this side here as well, so just a very slight crack starting to form. Um, so that's that, and if we quickly go to the passenger front inner door sill, um, we can see that the door sill here has all been crimpled. Um, it looks like it's, it's, it's obviously had better days. Um, so we're going to obviously get a new one and put that on there. Um, so there we go.